Scrub a dub dub, what's in the tub? What's going on, my scrub scribers? The A Scrub Nine here, coach of these two topless scrub nines, and we have the match against uh, Slur or Slayer, uh, the coach of the Sutopolis. Oh no, not the Sutopolis. He is the Saffron Shamans. That is the name of their team. And um, right off the bat, looking at his team, uh, I saw that he didn't bring the wall core that I wanted him to bring, which was the Slow King and Tangrowth. He brought uh, Rhyferior and Milk Tank along with the Tangrowth. And uh, I was a little disappointed by that because now Zipstrike is not going to be as pivotal for this match. And I was upset that Esteban's not going to be able to be <laughs> as usual in this match. And um, I was a little upset overall. Uh, he brings that dragon like I thought. I figured that's choice scarfed. And uh, I was worried about that. So I needed to get the Tailwinds up as soon as possible. And uh, I had no idea what to expect to the, from the Thunders because I, I, I never see Thunderses. And I, when I do, they're like mixed. And I was like, eh. And the metal what I figured was probably the um, REU choice spec set, which I figured was good. Eh, I can match up pretty well against that. So I was pretty confident looking into this match because he didn't have the Mega Metagross. And uh, I figured, hey, nothing really appreciates Mammoth Swine, so uh, that's what we're going to lead off with. Uh, so if you don't really like longer battles, this is, this is a very long battle. And uh, I might skip through a couple turns um, just to kind of get through uh, this match because it is 53 turns long. Um, but right off the bat, he energy balls uh, because he figures I'm probably to the sash set, so I can just come all the way down to my sash. And uh, I just knock off here. Oh, excuse me for hitting Mike. Um, in case he wants to um, switch out or anything, and it's gonna do a whole but ton of damage to this thing. Knock off its choice specs, and uh, so I figure I can just ice shard here, knowing that he's probably gonna switch into the milk tank, and which he does. And I'm just like generally annoyed by this thing. Uh, and I see this ice shard go off, and I'm like, okay, damage is damage, and I, I guess that damage counts for something, so, <laughs> not really, but, yeah, I know that he's thick fat at this point, um, and I figure he's probably gonna body slam, because that's what milk tanks do. So he, I switch out into Arcanine here, and he body slams, and, uh, oh, I get the Intimidate off first, and then, uh, he just body slams, and I know it's gonna do nothing, it's gonna hurt him more than it's gonna hurt me. So I figure I'm in a pretty good situation, and if people could stop texting me right in the middle of my recordings, that'd be absolutely dank. Um, but, uh, I'm in, I'm in a pretty good situation here, um, but I ended up just swapping back out into, uh, Swellbird, uh, because I want to get my Tailwind up, and I figure if he paralyzes me with a Body Slam, I'm fine, uh, because it's not really gonna matter, and the Body Slam's not gonna do too much to me. He doesn't end up paralyzing me, which is nice, so then I'm still speedy Swellow, um, I get my burn for my Slam Orb, which is nice, and uh, he kind of has to withdraw here uh, because he doesn't want that much damage done to his uh, his wall. So he goes out into this thing, I figured this thing would probably come out, um, but I just tailwind up because uh, Facade's not going to do much to this thing anyway, even with the Guts boost. Uh, so I figured the tailwind's probably the best play. Now here I just U-turn out because uh, I don't want to get stone edged and die because I need this wallow to keep setting up the uh, the tailwind and to potentially take down um, one of the two wall other walls other than this thing so I swap into puberty he stealth rocks here and I'm like crap my mammal swine's dead now and I'm, I'm upset about that because I really want mammal swine around uh, for the um, the high dragon and the thunderous and that would have been really nice to have that up but um uh, I just toxic here and I end up missing and I was really upset. He flash cannons though and I'm like, hey, that's fine by me. And uh, I was like, the orb prediction is going to cost you a little bit here. Uh, so I just you know, I, I ice beamed uh, on that turn because I knew I could take a dark pulse because I'm especially defensive out the wazoo. And um, I'm just getting my left over recovery. Now he's in a real tight situation here uh, because he has to uh, probably roost here. And I just stay in ice beam. Uh, because I know he's not going to Dark Pulse and risk uh, losing this Hydra again this early because this thing's so pivotal in the matchup. And, um, I Ice Beam, uh, la, 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 ice beam here. Just to see uh, how much damage it'll do again. And uh, I put him in a kind of awkward situation here. He has to swap out, which I don't know how many times I can say that uh, Hydra again has to come or has to swap out against the Jellicent. And uh, here I just Toxic because I figure that I can stall out the High Dragon uh, because I'm especially defensive and he has to end up keep roosting, giving me leftovers recovery. Uh, but he swaps into that, which is nice, just for me to get um, all that residual damage on it. 
and I can't hex here, uh, which I do end up having um, because he's a normal type and it's not going to hit it. Uh, so what I do here is I swap out right into Esteban uh, because I kind of want to see how much a double kick will do this thing and see if Esteban can uh, become useful in this matchup. Now he goes for the heal bell uh, just to get that uh, toxic damage off of the thing and he wants to kind of just stall me out here. Uh, so I just double kick here uh, just to see how much it'll do. And seeing that, I'm like, okay, this isn't even worth it. I'm taking more in life orb than he is, and he has uh, reliable recovery here. So he just milk drinks up, and he's just in fantastic position. And I'm just like, Ugh, I hate this. I hate this milk tank. I absolutely hate it. Uh, so I just swap out here, go right into puberty because I figure he's probably gonna body slam, and he's not scrappy because he took that uh, ice shard way too well, and he body slams here and it doesn't affect me. So I'm just going to munch on my leftovers and uh, take back some health. Now here he just body slams again, uh, maybe it's spitting a swap out um, to try and toy with his mind, uh, but I just scald here, hoping for a burn but I don't get it, and uh, I'm just slowly trying to whittle down this wall if I can at all. Uh, so we have the leftovers recovery going up on a Tuesday. And uh, he just milk drinks up, just trying to stall me out. I guess he's just trying to figure out what he can do here. And he's not really losing anything doing this, um, I guess, other than burn. Uh, but then he has to heal bell up. So I guess that's like something that he's not hes not really too worried about. This thing is just an overall, just annoying wall. And Slayer here is just trying to figure out, maybe I'll over commit to something. Uh, but here... Uh, he, he withdraws, and I believe I scrolled again. No, no, I toxic this turn. Yeah, I toxic here. He brings out the Tangrowth, which is fine by me, because I get this toxic off. And now I figured he'd probably Giga Drain um, here, but I knew I could eat it up. And uh, so I just go for the Hex here, because I really want to just like break down this wall and uh, like see what he wants to do with this. Uh, so the Hex goes off. And that does so much damage. And he ends up sleep powdering, and I was like, oh, wait, Esteban was actually the right play. Because if I would have gone into Esteban, I could have overheated, and then uh, could have double kicked anything. Like, even if the Mook Tank comes back in, I have the Sap Super Boost, and then uh, double kick does more damage. And it just puts him in a real hard situation. Uh, but he could have just uh, Milk Drank up, so, like, I didn't think it was worth it. Um, so that's why I didn't swap in. Now, here, he swaps out, and I figure I have to um, burn turns to sleep. So I just go for the Ice Beam to see if I'll wake up first turn, and uh, there's no first turn wake ups. So I swap out here, because I'm not trying to take all that damage from uh, this High Dragon, so I just swap into Dank to sack it off. And uh, Slayer makes a savvy play, and he just, uh, he roosts up here, which is really smart by him. He, he anticipated the play, which is, he just overall slayer he's just very you know calculated and stally and it, it works out for him so i swap into the diancy here now what i should have done probably here i didn't want to stay in because i i thought he might call my bluff um because i don't have protect or anything like that i should have set up stealth rocks here but i didn't so i just swap into jealousy because i wanted to burn more turns of uh more turns of sleep on this jealousy and i figure uh what's this uh What's this Mellow White going to do to me? Because I'm specially defensive. Even like Shadow Ball won't do much to me because he doesn't have choice specs anymore. So he gets the Shadow Ball off. And that is a good chunk. Um, but it's not its not anything that I'm really worried about. Leftovers Recovery will give me um, that all back in two turns. So I just wake up and scald. Um, I knew it was going to happen because it's two turns in and then swap out. Third turn coming in. I wake up and uh, like I take half of that back from Leftovers Recovery. He swaps into this thing, and this is why I really wanted, uh, I should have set up the, um, the Stealth Rocks. Because uh, I swapped back into Diancy to match up against this thing. And, uh, because I know I can take, um, like, any attack from this thing, and he's not going to focus Blast on a, uh, a Jellicent, because it's just, like, itching for him to eat an Ice Beam if I am, um, if I'm real to do it. He swaps into this thing. And I just Diamond Storm uh, Mega Evolve because I know that uh, he can't touch me. And the way he swapped out, I figured he's Choice Scarf. Um, 
just the way he played it, I was like, yeah, that, that logically makes sense. So I diamond stormed, um, because I knew he couldn't kill me with another knockoff. And, uh, it, like, Tank Growth takes it pretty well, um, but I know Moonblast will kill from this range because he's not specially defensive, and he doesn't want to bring in the Milk Tank because that's not specially defensive either, um, uh, based on how, um, well Jellicent was hitting it. Uh, so I just Moonblast here. And, uh, this thing goes down, and I'm in a real good position right here. Now he sends in this thing, and I know that I can't uh, match up well against this thing because I can whittle it down, uh, but he can body slam me and then just milk drink, like, outstall me. So I go into Ace uh, just to force this thing to um, go for, like, body slam or anything like that, and just take damage to itself. And then I can just Morning Sun up, and I'll be in a fine position. He reveals the Iron Head. And I was like really happy that I swapped out. I was like, that that was actually a really good play. I didn't know this thing got Iron Head. Or I've never really, yeah, no, nobody really runs that, I guess, like because you don't see Milk Tank in the higher tiers. Um, but maybe in the lower tiers you do. But I, I don't know. Fairies are so high tier, you don't really see it that much. Um, but he just Milk Drinks here, uh, probably anticipating that I'm going to um, either reveal the close combat, which I don't. I just Morning Sun up because I need this thing to match up against this. Uh, this, um, whatchamacallit, milk tank, so that, he, um, he doesn't just stall me out throughout the rest of this entire, this entire match. So I just will wisp here, anticipating this thing to come in, uh, because, like, if I close combat, I'm just popping off its, uh, its weakness policy, and now that puts him in a really tough situation. I could have close combat it here, um, uh, but I didn't want to take a weakness policy, um, whatchamacallit, if he's solid rock. Because I wouldn't kill it from there. Um, but he ends up just swapping back out. And I was like, oh, that would have been a decent play. Because um, he goes back into the milk tank. And it wouldn't have killed the milk tank. But it would have put it in decent range to uh, to kill the next turn. So Puberty's out here against his milk tank. And he just heal bells up to get the... Uh, he gets the milk tank. Uh, he just heal bells up to get the... Uh, Will-O-Wisp off, and I go for the Scald here, and that is a whole bunch of damage, and I was like, oh, it's a crit. And I was like, alright, well, that's a decent position, because he has to Milk Drink here, and get this damage back off. Uh, but I, like, I'm kind of happy that I got that crit, because he's kind of just sitting here, and like, waiting for me to run out of moves, and put him in a situation where he can just stall me out. So that's what I'm just trying to do, I'm trying to just pull break. Uh, this this core of just annoyingness because he's not really offensively attacking me he's just trying to whittle me down which is a smart tactic and uh like I just kind of have to counteract it and I have to outlast him um, and that's kind of what we're just doing here we're just playing who can last the longest and uh, he swaps out into Trump here to just countermeasure me and I scald here and uh, I do end up getting the burn here, which puts me in a really good position because um, I talked to him after the match, and this thing was actually um, all physical attack. It's not; it doesn't have thunderbolts at all, and uh, that's why, like, I was concerned. Like every turn I swap out is because I know he's gonna go for. Well, I, I think he's gonna go for a thunderbolt um, because after the burn, there's no reason not to. So I figure he might go for the thunderbolt here, and uh, I'm not anything that will um, I'm not lightning rod or any, whatever. Um, so that's, he doesn't end up going for that, he goes for the U-turn, and, uh, he swallows right back into the milk tank. I swapped into Espawn because I knew I could eat it up, and I don't really need this thing, um, that much, uh, because Diancy outspeeds the, um, the Hydra gun because it is, uh, not choice scarfed, it's life orb. And I'm just not real happy about this matchup either. Um, I know he has to, uh, heal bell up here, um, just to get the poison off. And the burn off of his um, thunderous. Uh, so I just wild charge off just to get damage for damage sake. And I'm not real happy about um, like how solid this this milk tank is. It's just it's basically just eating up everything. Like there's nothing I can do to really touch this thing. Um, and this is where I wish I brought sock. Uh, but I mean sock would have been in a tough position as well. Um, but I just bring out Ace here because that, that is my counter to this this 
milk tank because I am intimidate uh, Rocky helmet set and he just milk drinks up and we're just this is just getting really really stally and annoying uh, so let me just skip through and uh, a couple of these turns oh oh skipping oh no oh fuck uh, I didn't want to skip video I wanted to skip turn uh, uh. wait okay all right okay I don't know what it's doing. I'm scared. 3DS? 3DS? You good? <laughs> you okay? Come on, man. Okay. And he just body slams the next turn. And I eat that up just fine. And this is just like boring stall of boring stalls and I will list because that's the play to make and he gets leftovers recovery and I'm just like Ugh, uh, uh, I'm just not like I'm not real happy about this thing just sitting here and being annoying so he heal bells and I'm morning sun up and I'm just like Ugh. I'm just kind of getting like bored at this point because it, it it's just stally and it's kind of annoying and it's just like okay so what else is new blah blah, blah. And I kind of just have to wait for him to make a misplay so I figure he's gonna swap out and I really wanted to go for close combat here uh, anticipating this head dragon to uh, come in but I just will wisp because I can't risk it with the right fear you're still there and I have to hold that close combat until the right fear you is either gone or there's a position where he has to kind of stay in and sack something off to it. Um, so I figured he's probably going to go back into the thing. And I was like, okay, well that's fine by me. Um, I'm just going to swap out in case he does um, decide to go for something else. And I'll just sack off Esteban. Um, oh no, I don't sack it off. It, it almost goes down here to rocks. Um... But yeah, no, I just figured I'd sack it off to the High Dragon in case he did go for like a Draco or anything. But I thought he might go back into this thing. Uh, so I just swapped back into Ace. And I know he's going to heal Bell, so this is just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just kind of annoyed at this point uh, that he's going to sit here and just milk drink and heal Bell. And just kind of, just overall stall through this match. Um... I'm not, like, upset about it, it's just annoying, because I'd rather, like, it, the way I think about it is, here, like, I, I really wanted to close combat, but I figured he'd go into that, um, or the Rhyferior, and, like, one of these turns, I don't understand, like, I guess he's trying to make me just swap in and out, in and out on these, um, the rocks, and whittle down my own team, I guess that's his strategy there, um, but I figured... The match is going to end how the match is going to end, and you know, like he can flash cannon or roost here. He flash cannons anticipating the Dancy coming in. Like I come out into Dancy here, and um, like I figure he can go into whatever he wants to because I'm moon blasting and it's going to do a heck amount of damage. He ends up sacking this thing off, and I'm really happy because I'm like, okay, I have, I'm in a position where I can win here. And uh, he goes into his uh, Trump. And I didn't know that he was max attack or whatever. I didn't think a Thunder Punch would kill me anyway. Um, and I talked to him after, and he said it was a roll. And uh, he got the better end of that roll, and I was like, eh. So I maybe should have set up Stealth Rocks before on the earlier turns. When Diancy was out, um, like when I bluffed the Protect and everything like that, uh, that might have been the best play. Uh, but I just get the Intimidate off here, and uh, he gets Defiant boost, and I was just like, holy crap, I didn't know this thing got Defiant. Uh, so I just put myself in a really bad position, but he, he swaps out into the Lawnmower, and I was just like, okay. Um, well, I just Morning Sun's up, because I figured a Thunder Punch that he was locked to, and, to with his Choice Scarf wouldn't kill me. Uh, so I can just Morning Sun up and take let him take residual damage and uh, be in a good position. I just will wisp here, because I know I'm faster than this thing. And uh, then an Earthquake won't hurt me as much. Uh, it still does a heck of a lot of damage because this thing is stab and super attack oriented. Um, other than, it's probably just max HP and like some defense investment and then a whole bunch of attack. 
and he swaps out into the Chinko, which I'm just like, oh, this is going to take forever. Like, as you can see, this is already a 20-minute match on just when it's, like, us, like, going over the match. Slayer would take almost the entire time for the match, uh, for the moves and stuff like that, because he wants to make the most informed play, which is a credit to him. Very intelligent, very smart. And he body slams here, gets a crit, and I was like, eh, I don't really care too much about that. I just will a wisp here. Uh, just to force him to have to uh, go for a milk drink or something like that. Um, just to kind of keep him ahead of myself. And uh, I figure this is probably, uh, like I'm thinking about going for close combat. He just body slams straight off. Um, I guess like at this point we were just co both kind of done with getting uh, like stalled out at this point I guess. And uh, this is the turn where I close combat. I'm like, okay, you know, it's time. The High Dragon's gone. I might as well just close combat. If he wants to swap into right here, just let it be. Um, yeah, and then there. Like, I was like, okay, you know, my, my defense is down. I can Morning Sun up here, but then he's going to Milk Drink, and then we're just going to be annoyed. Uh, so I might as well just close combat here. He ends up heal bailing, which is a smart play, um, just to get the burn off on both his... Um, his right Furrier and um, Milk Tank, and uh, I close combat here just because I don't want a Morning Sun up on his Milk Drink because then I just have to do the whole thing over again, and his body slams are going to start doing more and more. And now here, after that dance, he went down. I think I basically lost the match if I didn't set up Stealth Rocks, which I didn't, um, because now this thing can kill me. And what I can do is I can swap into Swallow here, but I just let my Ark and I go down to an Earthquake because. Even setting up the Tailwind, um, Arcanine's not going to outspeed, um, and Swallow is the only thing that can match up against the, uh, whatchamacallit, against the Thunderous, but I don't have Quick Attack, so I'm basically just done here. Uh, even Jellicent's not, uh, outspeeding because he's Choice Scarf, then I'm not any speed investment. Uh, so I just Scald here, take that thing down, and Jellicent and uh, Swallow just proceed to go down in these next two turns. Two Thunder Punches from this um, this Trump. And I'm hoping that Jellicent can maybe live a Thunder Punch, but it doesn't because I don't have enough uh, defense investments for her to live that, and this thing's Max Adamant. So, you know, it was a really good match against Slayer. Um, I'm not salty at all. Like, I don't, I don't really like Stall that much. I don't really like, um, like, I don't like how... He just kind of sat there with the the milk tank. But it, it didn't bother me too much. I mean, it's the league format, and he can battle however he wants. And, you know, like, I play UU. I understand stall. I love beating players who play stall. But not at all would I say I'm salty or anything like that. And uh, that's going to make us 1-1. One and, one. Um, and I'm kind of, like, upset that I lost. Um, I probably should have set up Stealth Rocks, which was my bad. But, uh, I mean, it was a good match. It was only a 1-0. And it was very, very close. You know, if I had had... Um, more physical defense CVs and Jellicent or Quick Attack on Swallow. Uh, it might have been, I might have won. Um, but, I mean, either way, like, I think Slayer played the match to the way he is true to playing. That's, that's how Slayer plays. He's a very, uh, Smogon, very whittle you down kind of player. And that's, I guess, how the metagame is advancing and stuff like that. And I'm okay with that. I, I'm completely fine with that. And I'm not. I'm not upset. I just, you know, all right, whatever. And uh, I think that we can definitely um, still make the playoffs, even with this loss. Uh, we play v next week, which is probably going to be the next hardest match after Slayer. And I think the rest of the matches after that are uh, players that I just think aren't as um, as good as Slayer and Vsing, um, ranking wise, I just think they're not as high level battlers, and I don't think their teams are as good, uh, so I have a lot better matchups, I'm not saying that I can beat them all, um, I'm saying that I think that I have a very good matchup against, uh, the rest of the remaining teams after that, and I still think I can make the playoffs and, uh, win the cup, or title, or whatever, however you want to go, CCL title, um, but yeah, no, overall, I, I admire Slayer for sticking to his strategy and doing that. I didn't really like the strategy because I don't like the stalling milk tank. Uh, but, you know, either way, um, you know, it was it was a really good battle. We played it out, and it was really close and just great battle overall. Um, like, two different kind of styles coming out there. But, uh, yeah, 
I'm just going to kind of stop talking now so that I don't just ramble on for 20 minutes uh, about how I lost. But uh, yeah, it's whatever. Okay, so uh, GG to Slayer, and uh, that's going to be it. Make sure to check out uh, Slayer's channel and uh, the CCL channel, uh, which is going to be Cyclone's channel, and uh, the Twitter, which is the CCL official. And uh, give Slayer props, man. Like, even though he stalled out, I don't want you guys to be salty about that or anything like that. Uh, Slayer played his heart out. And, uh, you know, after the match, we're still good buddies and everything like that. It's not anything that I'm upset about. So, just uh, make sure to give him props and everything like that. He's 2-0. And, oh. and uh, I think at this point, if you guys uh, don't already know, there are only two 2-0 oh teams left. And you can kind of go watch the matches and see who they are. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.